the boy won't get us, Quantrill. Come on, we wasted enough time here already. Let him go. Someday. Someday what? Jesse was so young, it hurt to see him go. But he had fight in him, and he served the Confederacy well. At the war's end, we got word from Frank that Jesse had been badly wounded. And so we set out to bring them home, Reuben and me and our little boy, Archie. Z, you remember the day when we stopped by Rufus Cobb's house on our way home with poor Jesse? If they think they're staying here... They've had such a hard time, Ruth. And they are kinfolk. Yours, not mine. What happened? A fight with federal soldiers two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, but the war's been over a month. Not for them. For the regular soldiers, yes, but not for guerrilla outfits. They don't recognize them as soldiers. We were trying to surrender when it happened. We had a white flag. Jesse was carrying it. Gladly opened up on us. We weren't even armed. Come on, bring him into the house. It's Jesse. He's been badly wounded. I don't care how badly he's wounded. He can't stay here. Oh, Rube, you can't. Every moocher in the Confederacy comes knocking at this door. Major Cobb, I served under you at Bull Run. Major Cobb, we were Chickamauga together. Wouldn't be for long. So you said when you brought your sister here more than a year ago. I do chores. I don't eat much. Then I'm leaving him here. It's only 70 miles more to your place. You can look after him there. Oh, I'm afraid. He's grown so weak. I'll look after him. We just don't have room. He can stay in the attic. I'll sleep in the kitchen. It's only until we get the farm in shape and he's strong enough to go further. Don't make a stand here and beg. We're not begging. It's not charity, Rufus. Frank will come and work for you every other week. You'll be paid for all of it. If you say no, you'll get paid for that, too. A threat? A fact. Like the weather. <laughs> 